Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve another programming interview question. Uh, in a given tree, find the maximum depth. Okay. So before this is a common interview question. So let's uh, understand the core concept. How we are going to solve or how we are going to approach this problem. So let us understand first uh, what is depth. Let's uh, let's recap some of the terminology first. What is the depth in a given binary tree? Okay. So if I say I have a tree, okay. So depth of a tree means from a given node, what is the path to the root node? Okay, uh, let's say for two, for a given node B, the path is to root node is one. So I'll say the depth of B is one. Similarly, for depth for C is one. Depth for H is one two. Depth for J is one two three. Depth for G is one two three. And depth for D is one two. Similarly, depth for is Two. Depth for i is two. So in a in this tree we are going to find what is the maximum depth of a tree. Okay. So to approach this problem, we have to reach all nodes. Okay. We have to reach. We have to scan the entire tree, and uh, the last last the last process tree we can say like. Uh, that will be the depth of a tree. Okay, so we have to traverse the entire tree. So the best suited algorithm for uh, this kind of problem is uh, breadth first search, a queue based approach. So to solve this problem, like uh, uh, when we say we have to find the maximum depth of a tree, we have to traverse the entire tree. And uh, the last tree node will represent the max depth of the tree. Okay. So for traversing, we will we are using the BFS uh, BFS uh, breadth for search. Uh, so let's have a quick recap from the BFS. BFS algo, then we'll apply uh, this algorithm to solve our problem. Okay. Okay, so in uh, in BFS, what we have to do, we have to take the root node. Okay, and uh, create a queue. and mark it okay so a is my root node i will add in a i will create a queue huh? and add a in this queue okay so queue is a data structure where we will say first in first out okay so when we add a into queue it will add in the last Okay, and then when then we'll mark this A. Okay, then we will iterate over this Q till Q is not empty. Okay, then what we have to do? We have to take the first element from the Q. So we have to take the we have to dequeue it. So if this t, if we are looking for, then we will return this. Otherwise, we will find its uh, adjacent matrix. Like we have, we have to find the adjacent edges. So what are the edges? Are B and C. So once we find the find uh, uh, adjacent edges, we will take one. Uh, one left uh, edge 
and add this in a queue. So B will be added. Okay, and we'll mark B. Okay. So we will repeat this process and Q B. Okay. So we will repeat this process till our search element uh, till we reach till we say we have find our search element. So once we mark B, we'll we'll find its uh, addition uh, addition edges so B. Okay. Then uh, and Q it. And we'll go here. Okay. So in this way, we'll traverse the entire tree. So we'll use the BFS and we'll we'll try to find uh, what is my maximum depth of a tree. So let us apply the BFS algorithm to find the maximum depth in a tree. So we will take the help of a tree node interface. Okay, provided by the Sun API. Oracle API. Okay. So when we say when this node is null, that's when there is no uh, tree at all. So we will return the depth is zero. Okay. Then the BFS say like we have to create a queue. Okay. So in uh, Java there is a linked list uh, implementation of uh, uh, creating a queue based on the tree node. Okay, so this tree node is an interface in Java. Okay, then what we have to do? We have to add this root node in a queue. So second step is we are adding the root node in a queue. Okay, so my A is added in a queue. So I have to iterate over my queue okay until queue is become empty okay now I have to dequeue the first node okay the pole operation will dequeue it the offer the offer operation will enqueue it the pole operation will dequeue it means getting an element from the queue okay now I have to say my left element okay until if my left element is not null, like my b is not null, I have to add a counter. Okay, node dot value plus one. Okay, and add this element to the queue as per the BFS algorithm. Similarly, we have to do for the right node. So if then just replace this with right node dot right and q dot of node so once we have counter with uh, node uh, dot left and node dot right when we traverse the entire tree and when we calculate the node dot value so finally what we will do we will return node dot value so this value will say my maximum depth in my tree. Thank you.